The Grenadine Islands are islands, they're very small, but they don't have rivers. So persons or the inhabitants of these islands depend on rainwater harvesting. So when there are extreme drought conditions, it's very challenging for the population in these islands to get proper water supply. Natural disasters definitely have an impact on our water supply because during the volcanic eruption last year, we had a really hard time, especially on Bekwe, finding drinking water. We normally use seawater, salt water, to do some of the stuff, but you want most of the fresh water to do mostly everything. In the Grenadines, we collect the rainfall, but we also have, in Beckway, a reverse osmosis plant, a desalination plant. The desalination plant was set up as a pilot, and it was designed to produce 20,000 gallons of water per day. Now, that has been so good that we were able to bring the cost of producing a gallon of water to 0.02 cents for a gallon of water because of the solar power. The comparison between the before and after life with the desalination plant is that um, during the dry season, a lot of people depend on private donations or a lot of people really struggle with the shortage of water. I think using this salt plant, it helped a lot of people on a whole because they didn't have to worry about the quality of the water. Building resilience is something that is one of the government's agendas. So going forward, there has to be a correlation between what we do with our energy systems and also with what we do with our water supply. We produce water for the schools, the hospitals, the clinics, the police stations, even some of the hotels. I recommended that system for Union Island and Canawan, but we just have not yet hit the right nails to get that system, that financing done. Close to 60% of the state's capital budget is expended on matters concerning adaptation and mitigation in relation to climate change. And the bulk of this money, we have to borrow that money. And we can only be properly assisted in this fight by genuine multilateralism if we don't contain global warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. This planet ain't gonna be worth living in. <laughs>